Hello everyone, my name is Ivan, and in this episode of Overhauled In-Depth, we're going to be looking at some of the immediately noticeable updates and fixes that are coming with the release of the free update Derail Valley Overhauled on May 21st. You may have already noticed some of these things within our latest trailer, but here we'll discuss them in a bit more detail. The first and surely the most welcome is the multiple large performance improvements. Many CPU and GPU optimizations were made, making the game run a lot smoother and at higher frame rates for both VR and PC players. The difference is especially noticeable for players with lower end hardware, and as such we were able to reduce the minimum requirements while improving the overall visual fidelity. On the other hand, for those of you with powerful rigs, we've removed the frame rate count, allowing you to unleash unlimited frame rate from your machine. The next easiest improvement to spot right away is the general graphics improvements that the team has implemented for both PC and VR players. With deferred shading enabled as well as SSAO, TAA anti-aliasing, some pretty post-processing effects, and experimental water reflections, riding around the valley feels just that bit more alive. In VR, these graphics options are off by default, as they somewhat lessen the image sharpness. But on high-end hardware, given the gained performance, you can easily crank up video resolution to higher than 100% to make up for that sharpness lost. Distant trees that used to be very jaggy now get a bit of anti-aliasing too, making for a more scenic look. So do office interiors, with their improved lighting. To start with, one of the first things you'll notice in-game is that the pause menu GUI has been redesigned from scratch, a phrase you're going to hear a lot in these videos. The new menu has the usual buttons for settings and such, but with plenty of new sub-options. Next up, we'd like to show you the new inventory, completely revamped for both VR and PC. Previously, it was a bit finicky to use. It had a rather low slot limit and would become hectic to use when trying to do multiple things at once. In Overhaul, we've totally revamped the inventory from top to bottom, in both looks and functionality. On both VR and PC, there is now a much higher slot limit, allowing you to bring everything you need for a long haul with you, including a full kitchen set. On PC, the inventory is now brought up by holding tab or middle mouse button. While holding the inventory button down, the entire bar is shown at the bottom of your screen. Moving the mouse left or right will select which slot you're retrieving your items from, and by releasing the button, you'll grab the item. It works the same way for storing items. You can rearrange items easily, also by using the number bar on your keyboard if you prefer that, and the inventory is always out of sight when you don't need it for taking those scenic screenshots. Even the crosshair auto-hides when not used to allow for an uninterrupted view. In VR, the inventory has received special attention too. Apart from a more simplistic visual style, its usage is simplified to a single button action, where you'll access it by holding the inventory button, hovering over an item, and releasing the button. You'll also notice the new orbs at your wrists. Putting any item at your wrists will quickly drop the item into your inventory. You also have far more inventory slots than before, but making less visual clutter with a new empty slot appearing each time the previous is full. Back to non-VR, we've done a variety of fixes and improvements to the control scheme. We've made the usual method of controlling the locomotive controls, mouse dragging, a bit easier by expanding the hitboxes for the in-cab controls. We've also added a way to interact with the locomotive's levers and valves by just hovering your cursor over them and scrolling with your mouse wheel, allowing you to easily adjust the throttle or air brakes up or down. With the improved mouse controls, the keyboard control shouldn't be needed anymore. However, we've still made all of the locomotive controls customizable, including those that didn't already have a preset binding. This can be done by modifying GamePreferences.ini found in the game files. Another small addition is being able to toggle a sitting position by pressing X on the keyboard, which you'll find useful when operating locomotives with low windows, such as the steamer or the new diesel. You'll also find a mouse sensitivity option, a way to enable or disable the crosshair, and even a way to invert the mouse if you prefer to use a mouse wrong. A lot more changes were made regarding controls, especially for VR. As you probably know, Derail Valley was built from the ground up for virtual reality, and with Overhauled, we will improve support for the Valve Index, Oculus Rift and Rift S, HTC Vive, and WMR headsets, as well as add support for the recent release of the Oculus Quest via Link. 
This time around, we've revamped massive chunks of VR code, fixing numerous bugs related to both controls and play area. Bindings were carefully redesigned for each controller type, now more in line with common VR control standards. One welcome addition is the option to have items stick to your hand, so you don't need to hold a grab button to hold them. This makes it more difficult to accidentally drop held items. Telegrab was also made much simpler, only requiring the use of a single button. Hold the grip on your controller to enable the beam, point at the item you wish to grab, and release to telegrab the item. If you had problems moving using the index controllers, know that this change will have alleviated that. We've also greatly improved the VR item belt, fixing some of the more annoying issues it had. As part of that, we made it possible to adjust the belt spot's positions by grabbing the orbs with an empty hand and placing them wherever you wish. With the game now being a lot smarter at knowing what you intended to grab, you can also safely operate the locomotive remote from the belt without even looking, without fear of accidentally taking it out of the belt. This applies to operating delicate interfaces too, such as your map's menu. The revamp of the VR code made it possible to adjust player height to your liking. Some of its particular benefits include improved item interaction, such as items no longer shaking in your hand. Now, when you're holding an item, you're no longer prevented from moving or turning. To interact with the item in your hand, hold the Use key and simply press left or right. One frequently requested feature will finally make it to the game, smooth turning. With this option on, those of you with stronger stomachs will finally be able to turn around in the virtual world seamlessly. Finally, in VR, it is now possible to crouch and jump, which is very handy when trying to get between cars to couple them, which we'll talk about more later. With all of the numerous changes to the game, we've had to make a few difficult choices as well. In Overhauled, all players will need to start fresh, with their previous saves wiped. This was mainly due to many technical changes made in the update. We know many of you have played the game quite a while and have saved up an incredible amount of wealth, but at the same time, loading up for the first time in Overhauled and just buying all the new features would detract from the 50 plus hours of gameplay the game now has to offer. The update will also require a full clean reinstall for players who have used any mods in the past. Speaking of saves, if you ever had experience getting your save corrupted, you'll be pleased to know that it was determined that these were only happening to players using the Rerail mod and was not due to a fault within Derail Valley. Still, we've included an all-new save backup system, so that every time you start the game, your previous save will be backed up and properly named, so you can revert to it if need be. Keyboards around the world will cheer, knowing that, in overhaul, gone is the need to repeatedly smash the F key to teleport from station to station. We've added the ability to fast travel to any station around the map for a small payment. The further you travel, the more you pay. You can even take the locomotive you're currently in with you for a larger payment. While you may, of course, continue to teleport around the map, doing so will take more time. Speaking of teleport code, it was, you guessed it, revamp too. In both VR and PC, it now makes it easier to teleport yourself against walls, onto rooftops, as well as to get on top of flipped trains and through once upon a time cursed tunnel entrances. At some stations you fast travel to, you may notice the all-new shop buildings. These small stores replace the floating boxes of Yesterbuild and add a more intuitive way to buy things. Simply grab the item scanner and scan the items you wish to purchase. Provide your money to the cash register as before and walk away the proud new owner of one of a few new booklets and items. One of these is the new golden shovel for those with plenty of money to spare. Oh, and don't forget to take your receipt. Naturally, with all the major changes made with Overhaul, we felt it was important to help new players really get a grasp of the controls, how to play, what to do, and where to go. With this in mind, we've created an all-new tutorial, which will take the player through learning how to use their controllers, how to interact with the game, how to drive the starting locomotive, and couple cars. Even if you're a veteran player, playing through the new tutorial will help you learn the new controls and features. If you'd like to support our work, you can now buy our new soundtrack on Steam. It features the music we made for the Derail Valley trailers, as well as some extra tracks, and can be had for $9.99. All revenue from it goes directly to further development of Derail Valley. Derail Valley itself is available too on Steam and the Oculus Store, 
and you can pre-purchase it now while waiting for the update. We'll also be doing a giveaway of a limited number of DRL Valley Steam Keys. For more details on how to be included, see the link in the description. On the next episode of Overhauled In-Depth, we'll be going over the all-new couplers and the derailment rewrite, amongst many other things. For now, drive safe, and we'll see you in the valley.